in this next Activia training video we're looking at some data here in a nice report pivot table we need to output this to people that maybe haven't got this format or Excel or they, they just want a paper copy printed copy something like that non-editable so our output options could be as a PDF file or the Microsoft's XPS format so you've got the Adobe PDF or Microsoft's format to look at. If we just go to File, and this is for 2010 Excel and 13, we've got a number of options here. We could do Share, Email. So in Excel 2013, that's how we get to the Send as PDF option. So that will let you create a PDF and then email it to clients or customers. And we've got send as XPS for the Microsoft's equivalent. That didn't really take off as well. You know, the majority of people out there use the Adobe PDF Reader. If we go to export, so file export, in 13 here, look, we've got create PDF. I'm going to go for this option. The window pops up and I've ticked open file after publishing if it needed to be ticked so we can see it straight away. Clicking options, you can do things like a range of pages or just the current selected information. It was defaulted to active sheets. If you've got a load of worksheets, you could do the entire workbook into a PDF on separate pages. Let's put that to active sheets and ignore print areas. Click OK. Optimize here, we've got standard or minimum size for online. I'll just go with the standard. And where are you going to place the file? What do you want to call the file? Let's say year 2015 QTR1 report. Click OK, well, click Publish here, and off it goes. This now opens in the Adobe Reader, whichever version of the Reader you have. I've got Windows 8.1 here, so it's, it's more of an app-based reader, but it pops up just the same. The end user could see that as an attachment if you emailed it, and they can print this off. But you can see can't actually make changes to that data.